Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at some of these coins. We'll look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, and we're going to look at Binance coin, alright? Uh, why not? Why not? I mean, a lot of my bots, or in, fact, in, fact, in fact, all of my bots use Binance coin. So, uh, I might as well work out what's going on with it, okay? We had a bit of a strange situation with it yesterday. So, before we go any further, um, I have a link here, if you haven't already used it, uh, to get yourself a new Binance account. Uh, this one will give you 20% off all your commission um, on your trading fees. So, you get basically 20% back every time you make a trade. You can have a as many Binance accounts as you like, by the way. And um, right, so let's get straight into it. So a Bitcoin looking pretty droopy, I have to say. And uh, now crossing and looking like we're definitely going to close beneath the, that Bollinger Band unless we can pick up um, significantly. This is the daily chart, by the way, uh, on spot. So um, because of this rejection, it, in my opinion, I think we will come down to some of these lower targets over time um, within the pitchfork. So this uh, this pitchfork tool should offer us a support around about 32,700. But you know, there's every chance that we bounce on this occasion. There's still people trying to buy this dip uh, and every dip that would be this is a consolidation pattern no question of it and um, but consolidations can run deep so if we look at this uh, you know from uh, from a, from I suppose a, a greater perspective you know we're looking for this to probably play out for a little longer until we break out of this pitchfork that's when we go bullish again until then you know we're likely to be uh, sort of I suppose having these anemic bounces which is what they are if we, uh, if we have a look a bit closer at this every time we had a bounce from the first drop down to the bottom of that pitchfork we had a significant bounce um, of well let's just measure that it was a decent one um, 20% not bad then um, as opposed to come back down let's have a look at the second one we had um, down at the bottom of that pitchfork all the way back up 24% not bad but since then it's kind of been running out of steam this bounced down to the center of the pitchfork up there 9% almost 10% uh, and uh, and so on and so on and so on so you know these are now crossing down below the center of the Bollinger Band on the daily that would mean that the rules of Bollinger Bands should apply if we closed below here which means that we're likely to stay below the uh, center of the Bollinger Band um, you know 65% more likely to stay below that's not a great um, um, amount of uh, probability though 65% you know it's, it's, it's in your favor if you're looking to play that for I suppose at this point would be shorts um, and uh, and bouncing up to that as a resistance but at the same time the overall trend is still so bullish that it's, it's, this isn't um, a big crash back down like we had in previous tops you know when we had this one this this obviously did consolidate in a much more volatile fashion from the top down here to that bottom wick down there as a 30% move back up to there back down again you know very 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 volatile until until it broke down so let's have a look at a, a few other things right if we were to judge this by the Ichimoku cloud um, which is a, an indicator that I use a lot okay which so we're, we're just going to take off a lot, a lot of these uh, indicators and it's something that if you were to go onto my patreon channel you would see that uh, I, I've got a, a tutorial on there that you might find quite useful so if we look at the Ichimoku cloud there's uh, there's two ways to spot uh, and you know the time to sell the first thing would be was when this uh, the the uh, the Kumo uh, the the Chico span which is this line here meets some part of the price action at the moment we're not meet in any part of the price action so there's no reason to sell um, as far as this is concerned so it's not saying that the trend has reversed and is going to be a downtrend this is still in my opinion a consolidation trend the second would be when the uh, the conversion this uh, this blue line crosses this red line which is the baseline and we don't have that either so without either of those two um, the original cross from back here where was it all the way back uh, back down here is still in play so believe it or not, that cross is still playing out in the bullish scenario. So I'm not overly concerned of uh, any greater um, dumps, for instance. Obviously, there could be. Um, but I'm not looking for any time to specifically say that this is it for Bitcoin. Until that happens, one of these two um, things happen. And at the moment, neither of them have happened, nor do they look like they're likely to happen anytime soon, um, given you know that the price action is is working in a stable consolidation and not some massive scammy dump which you can't account for that kind of thing so let's move our attention over to Ethereum then shall we so Ethereum is looking pretty bullish still above all major moving averages despite what's happened today still pretty bullish I have to say uh, again you know looking at the uh, Ichimoku cloud conversion baseline cross over here still playing out in great fashion nothing to be concerned about with these crosses I would, in my opinion, I would, I would basically say that this one is still very likely to continue up. Now, if we start to uh, break down, you know, below and close below around about.
about 1,200, especially areas of about 1,150, then yeah, the, the, the song will change to, uh, I suppose, a, a, a darker, more sinister one. Um, but at the moment, it's, it's, it's fine, in my opinion, it's fine. So dips are supposed to be bought within the alts, especially with Ethereum. Um, and basically, that's really all there is to it. I mean, it's uh, the the one thing that is not in its favour um, is the uh, is the volume uh, is one thing, uh, but everything else is looking okay. I mean, the MACD, uh, you know, it's a bit undecided. It's still way in bullish territory. So, uh, you know, greater pullback even all the way down to one thousand one hundred and fifty is still fine to me. But uh, any lower than there, I would get a little concerned. Uh, definitely, I think yesterday what I was saying is that you know we're we're looking okay on this one so long as we don't have a full retrace of this bullish breakout candle. Um, and at the moment we have tried that. Definitely we have tried that, um, but we haven't closed this. The day has still got plenty more to go. I've got uh, a live stream as well going on tonight. If you want to join me, uh, you obviously have to be a member of the Patreon. The link will be on there. So for, you know, so obviously join the Patreon. That's where you can ask me any questions about any charts that you want me to look at. Um, and who knows where the price action will be by that time tonight. So that's at uh, 8:30 tonight. Um, and the last thing we're going to look at is Binance Coin. So Binance Coin did its uh, did its um, burn yesterday. So it's one of those situations where it's buy the room, sell the news. All right. So the burn. Oh, there's going to be a burn. Burn's happening today. Burn happened. Dump. All right. That's that's how buy the room, sell the news works. Fundamentally, it's good. You know, burning tokens is good in the long term. And just like a halving, you know, and obviously not in any way near as um, as. Uh, as strong as a halving, but it's, it works in the same way. It basically limits the total supply, burns off a few million, means that there's less of them around. So the intrinsic value to a single token, in theory, should go up. Has that been priced in prior to the burn? Yeah, it probably has, and so that's why we've got a dump. But overall, you know, the continuous burning of the Binance token will will make this token go up in value over time. As far as the chart's concerned, let's have a look at it on the weekly. All right, so the weekly. I mean, this is a good chart, one of the stronger charts. In cryptocurrency, so we have a look at the the big peaks and the dips and the big peaks and the dips. We have these double dips in them, don't we? A peak, dip, peak, and we're going to have a dip. So you know this dip could continue all the way down, perhaps to these exponentials on the weekly, bringing us you know below 40, you know maybe to around 37 or so. These will be increasing you know every week, but we'll be talking about areas such as 38, maybe 37. Um, but you know, still overall bullish on this chart. There's no reason not to be bullish on Binance Coin. It's not the it's not the be all and end all. It's not the best token in the world, but it's a token that essentially everybody who holds a, a Binance account technically should always have some Binance Coin in there because it helps offset your fees by 25%. So there's incentive to hold it. Uh, Binance grows every day. Uh, so so will the token. The only reason this token will dump uh, is if something ever goes wrong with Binance. You know, as in like they've done something naughty. <laughs> and who knows if they have or if they haven't. I'm willing to take the risk at the moment with a chart like this. Um, all my bots trade with Binance token because it's steady away, but it's also not going to rock it to the moon so it doesn't destroy my bots as they uh, as they try to outpace Binance coin, which is what they need to do. And that basically has it. We look at the uh, the Bitcoin dominance chart, uh, and uh, what we see here is a, is basically a continuation, slow, slow continuation of a downwards trend. I would expect to see a bounce around this level though when we hit the 200 exponential moving average, which is coming at around about 64 and a half thereabouts. So we're not quite there yet. We probably will find little bounces as we're pushing our way to the bottom of the Bollinger Band, but still, you know, we're playing out the sell signal here and uh, it looks like it's decreasing and will continue to decrease at a slow rate. Uh, but basically, I'm still bullish on alts just to get it out there. I'm bullish on alts. I'm overall bullish on Bitcoin still. Um, I think the party, the altcoin party, is is to be honest yet to be had. If we break down below this level, it will be pretty exciting stuff. At the moment, you know, we're we're in between areas. This was our first resistance where we scaled in. This is where we started to get a little bit concerned in the event, not concerned, but a little bit um, wary, just in case it bounced from there. But it didn't. It broke down from there uh, and uh, tested it as resistance and broke down even further. So now we're, we've basically played in this range. So it's not a tight range. Um, so you know, Bitcoin and altcoins might have a little face-off at the moment to see who's the most dominant. Not expecting to see anything significant at the moment. But if if, if Ethereum begins to rally again, which I expect it probably will, and then we'll see this uh, this chart go down again, and then that will lend itself in the favour of all the other altcoins. 
Anyway, that's all I've got for you today on this uh, on this situation. I will be doing the live stream tonight, so I'll be, um, you, they're usually an hour and a half to two hours. So feel free, join my Patreon, link's in the description below. And um, never respond to anybody who claims to be me, unless you've gone through the, uh, the original channel. So either that's the links, well, the only place you'll find any kind of link, I would never send a link in a comment, you go to the comment. You go to the description of the videos because there are scammers pretending to be me at the moment. So I'm never going to ask you for any money. Just put it out there. I'll never ask anybody for any money. That's not for me. Your money is your money. Um, so if there's somebody pretending to be me or somebody who looks like me or has got the same name and same symbol and asking for money, it's not me. All right, it's definitely not me. Um, but if you want to communicate with me, you can do it on the Telegram. Again, description in the video. You can join my Patreon, get access to live streams um, with me directly. Uh, but other than that, don't respond to anybody who claims to be me. All right. Uh, I mean, it could obviously be me leaving a comment in the description of the, you know, in the in the in the comments. But if he's asking for any money or asking you to join something, it's not me. All right. It's just not me. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.